welcome you all students today we are going to learn about origin of language and this time these all the views are taken from the book the study of language by george yule and according to this book the very first source for origin of language is the divine source and the biblical tradition as described in the book of genesis god created adam and according to this book whatsoever adam called every living creature that was the name thereof means whatever adam named the things those are actually the real names and that became language and this is a biblical source from the book here is another concept and the, this concept is from hindu tradition following a hindu tradition language came from saraswati wife of brahma creator of the universe so there are various other sources from different religions according to those sources or those divine sources language came from the religion from god and the same concept is given in hinduism in most religions there appears to be a divine source who provides humans with language so humans are provided language from divine source mean to say from god here is another divine source theory that is known as egyptian frau's theory of language the greek writer herodotus the story of an egyptian pharaoh named pythamaticus or pythamatic who tried the experiment with the two newborn babies more than 2500 years ago so he is an egyptian king who made an experiment and this experiment was 2500 years ago and what happened in that experiment after two years of isolation except for the company of goats and a mute shepherd the children were reported to have uttered not an egyptian word but that was identified as the word back as meaning brat mean to say in isolation he left a child with a mute shepherd a shepherd who even didn't speak a single word with children and uh, thereafter when the child became adult so he was brought in front of the king and he didn't even speak a single word except backus meaning brat so what are the conclusions of uh, that word the pharaoh concluded that the children may not have picked up this word from any human source but as several commentators have pointed out they must have heard what the goats were saying so here is another theory which is known as king james theory and according to this theory king james the fourth of scotland carried out a similar experiment around the year 1500 and the children were reported to have spontaneously started speaking hebrew confirming the king's belief that hebrew had indeed been the language of the garden of eden so this king james actually concluded that because children they were speaking hebrew so he said that hebrew is actually the language of garden of eden so this was actually the king james theory So these are actually the theories taken from the book The Study of Language by George Yule. Hopefully this would have been very helping for all the students of linguistics. Thank you.